it's um, 7.30 in the morning and uh, we're preparing to blockade um, Primark and I'm just looking around on Western Road. Behind me is the um, loading bay that Primark have on, on the Western Road which they refuse to use. Um, and all around us on, on Western Road we see that there are loads of large HEV vehicles loading from the front of the shop which um, Primark are claiming is um, against health and safety and that they can't do that but um, a large number of other reputable shops um, are doing so and have been doing so for years and which is why there is a loading bay provision uh, here, here on the street so I'm just going to take a bit more of a walk around before we prepare to blockade Primark's delivery which will be up Crouch Street which is uh, behind me here. While strictly speaking not all of the vehicles were parked legally they were on the front of Western Road, they were not disturbing the residents who lived behind Western Road on either side and they weren't causing much of a nuisance given the fact it was just past seven in the morning. This kind of layout seems much more preferable than the other one. This one here was part legally in a proper loading bay um, that's designated like the Primark have. Um, here Sainsbury's actually had two HGVs at the same time and still traffic could get by. Um, this seems much more reasonable. Again, uh, another large vehicle in a parking bay. We were ready for Primark's 8am delivery, but seeing us in readiness, they radioed ahead and delayed their delivery until we had gone. My name is John Smith and I'm a resident of Crown Street. Yep. <laughs> and for quite a while we've been putting up with a great deal of noise. Repeated deliveries throughout the day. And now we're in a situation where they want a minimum of six deliveries a day. Yeah. And enough's enough. And, and the noise is from? The noise is from them actually reversing. But it's not only the noise, it's also the safety aspect of it. Yeah. And, and you, I mean, if you just look around, you've got pound lands here and you've got uh, Primark there. Can you just say yeah, that it's I'm, definitely Primark? It's definitely Primark. It's very clearly their lorries. Yeah. Other lorries are able to deliver on Western Road quite easily from yeah. the front rather than from the side affecting this residential area. So what are you asking for from, from Primark? For no more deliveries. Okay. And Relatively simple. And um, what do you think your chances are? Well, I think we've got quite a bit of support this morning. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah. So we're here on um, Crown Street. We're waiting for the normal 8 a.m. delivery from Primark. Um, we've got residents from the neighbouring streets here who are fed up with the noise and disturbance from Primark. Um, Western Road is a type of activity, there's deliveries um, in the morning, but they happen on Western Road for almost every other business. Primark are the only ones who insist on delivering through the residential streets, Crown Street and Marlborough Street. Um, they have their air conditioning running through their night, they're just not behaving in a neighbourly fashion. These residents feel enough is enough, and so they're going to be blockading the deliveries this morning to make their mark and to say that next Wednesday a planning committee when an uh, application from Pima comes forward that the councillors should amend it to prevent any more deliveries through residential streets. Um, that's, that's what um, I'm here as a councillor to support. I've been getting casework on this for about two years now so it's a really real problem. Um, and we're, we've been struggling to, to get any kind of positive response from Primark. We saw a bit earlier there security guards and a man in a suit wander around. Um, they didn't even bother to come say hello to us or ask what this was about. Um, I think Primark needs a serious attitude change and I'm hoping that what we're doing today might help in achieving that. Excuse me, are you expecting a delivery? We are, I don't know where it's got to. Okay. Do, do you mind saying anything about why you deliver here? No, sorry, I can't. No parking, gates in constant use. And, um, you know, I'd say that echoes the sound, you know, actually. Because it's an enclosed area, you're up against walls here. This is the railing that gets knocked by the, by the vehicles. Despite, or perhaps in spite of, the presence of the BBC, uh, a cameraman from the Argus and a street full of neighbours and two councillors. No manager from Primark was willing to talk to us at any time despite repeated attempts. Well, they do. Can I have a link collector, right? Right? 
the neighbours are protesting about trying to be bad neighbours. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we're doing a blockade, so we're going to stand here and stop you doing the job. I know you've got a busy schedule, so probably it's best for you to leave these here and go off and do your next job. I think the police might have a different view on that. I don't think so. Who are you with? Lawful right to protest. Who are you with? Well, I'm the one of the councillors, this is another councillor. councillor. And we've got neighbours and residents from this area who are disturbed by Primark. And it's not about you, it's about Primark. No. Here you see a cycle rack that Primark were required to install as part of their planning. It's clearly unusable in its location, uh, blocked in by, by waste. Um, the floor of the yard was supposed to be coated in rubber to reduce noise, um, but it's, it's clear it's covered in, in tarmac. Um, Primark just aren't delivering on their promises. Sorry, you think it's a bit stupid that neighbours are upset by the noise that you're making? Come here, come here, come here. You just said it was a bit no, stupid. That's very oh, easy. Yeah. I heard you say you think that we're a bit stupid. I didn't, didn't say anything. I didn't say anything of the sort. So. I said that. No, but we do need agree. to get our. I heard you say we need yes, to get our rubbish through. I'm afraid that. Yeah, so you were banned by the government inspector from delivering this lorry down this road. Quite clearly, no one is committing a retreat from Marlborough Street. Quite clear in your planning. I have nothing to do that, I'm afraid. Well, that's what controls what you do. Yeah. Do you want to have your leaflet? We'll let me have a leaflet so anyone's about. Street. And don't worry, right. so I suggest that you don't you, use Marlborough go, Street. Here's the leaflet explaining what, what our views are on this. Thank you. Come on, Tony, it's good. OK. Would you like to come and talk to the camera since you wouldn't come out earlier? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, um, no delivery so far on Crown Street, but we managed to blockade the delivery, the well, the re, the waste collection on Marlborough Street. Um, is it really too much to us that people have a quiet Saturday and Sunday morning? Uh, I don't think so. Just a little bit of consideration from Primark would be all it would take, and they would save themselves all this bother, and the residents could get on with their lives.